Hello, Broadway fans, and welcome to this week's edition of Weekly Roundup with your host, David Singletary. That's me! Now, this week we are starting off fiercely with something that I love, gossip. But this week, it's not mine. Oh no, honey, we know all of those websites, all of those chats where people in Queens go to talk about gossip. All that chat, I'm not even going to call them all out. You know who you are. Well, apparently the big gossip right now is that How to Succeed is losing revenue, that they're losing grosses, that attendance is down, and all these other things, and I don't really understand that, because that's not true. If you're going to gossip, at least base it in some form of truth, and then you run with it and see where it takes you. But... Aren't the grosses up this week? I'm pretty sure that How to Succeed went up $170,000. That is a lot of money. So my question is, why do people have it out for How to Succeed? Are these like Hanson fans? Like, mm, bop your way out? I don't understand. Are they trying to go in on the Jonas Brothers and like, you know, the little stunt casting that happens over there? I don't know. But you can't lie. You can't lie. The grosses don't lie unless you're wicked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go into that. Speaking of not lying, you know who doesn't lie is Broadway's sweetheart, Sutton Foster. And she certainly didn't lie when she said, I'm going out. I'm getting out of Anything Goes. So Sutton left Anything Goes, out with Sutton, in with Stephanie J. Block, who I love. She is sublime. Did anyone see her in By the Way Meet Vera Stark? Fierce, girl. She didn't even sing. Fierce. She was funny. I loved it. So, anyway, Sutton, we wish you the best. We know that you're going to strap on a new lace front and be in a show in no time because you were, like, out of shows for hours, basically hours. You're probably already in rehearsal as we speak. Tick tock. So, we wish her well. Go see Stephanie J. Block. I know that I will be there. Now, a place that I was not at, sadly, was last night the opening of Death of a Salesman. That's right. The very famous, incredible play, Death of a Salesman, by the delicious... Well, not by, but starring the delicious Philip Seymour Hoffman. Now, I use delicious very loosely because if you've seen him out, he looks like a homeless. He has the long hair. He's on a bike. He looks angry. I love him, but he absolutely, you know, looks unshowered. But he's a genius. You're a genius. And I love that you look unshowered. I love that you go about, like, some kind of transient. I love that. Vagabond. So... He was in, uh, he is in Death of a Salesman. Reviews came out. They've been very, very positive. Ben Brantley says that the, uh, the show is phenomenal. He loves the opening because they actually went back to how it originally was opened with the silhouette and the set and the music. So I love that. I love it. Go see it. I hopefully will be seeing it very, very soon. And other news, if you would like to see something at Joe's Pub, well, guess what? They have opened a mezzanine section, or they are opening a mezzanine section section over at Joe's Pub. That's really classy. Mezzanine. The mez at Joe's Pub. You can have a mez seat. You can have a cocktail. <laughs> Mostly cocktails. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, I know that we went away from the message boards, but we're going to have to... Uh, Rewind, because this deserves its own subject. I don't know if you guys frequent the Broadway World message boards, and honestly, I would say the Broadway World usually aren't as catty and queeny as the All That Chat. I mean, no hate to the All That Chat, but it's like those people, some of them just live to spout negativity. I'm like, do you like theater at all? Because you're spending hours hating on it. Well, this time it's Broadway World. Did you see this thread on Latin audiences and how they basically don't know how to act based on the uh, on Avita on Vida on Broadway? They went and they were saying that Latin audiences talk throughout and how they you know they use their phones and all this and how Latin people don't have etiquette and how they're sure that because Ricky Martin is in this show that the entire run of the show is going to be horrible because they went to go see a different show with a lot like it's first of all it's ridiculous. It's not the first time it's happened. I mean, we black folks were at Target at Fences saying that we don't know how to act and we were bringing chicken and all this, which, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I love chicken. But I also know not to bring an entire, you know, bucket of KFC into a theater, just like Latins know not to bring, you know, enchiladas and, you know, con queso in the theater. I think it's ridiculous to single out an entire group of people and act as if they are completely ignorant of how to come to a Broadway theater. What is ignorant is to just assume that you shouldn't go to this show or that this show is going to be, you know, full of people who are annoying 
or who have never been to a Broadway theater. This is New York City. People grew up with Broadway theaters. Like, I, I just have no time for racism and things like that. I'm sorry, that's kind of racist. It's racist and it's, you know, I have no... You can't just brush off those kind of comments as, well, that was my experience and that's... Pro well, you know, people may have had a very bad experience in other shows. Also, we just had West Side Story. That's a Latin show, but no one was complaining about that. But because Ricky Martin is in this, now suddenly, you know, the Latins don't know how to act. That's ridiculous, and I will be at Evita. So, you know, save that. If you have this, that's your stay between you and Jesus, and let him work on you. Now, moving on to other topics, not as Latin, Katie Finneran's show, Sad Face, was canceled. She was in that show, um, I Hate My Teen Daughter. Now, we've had this happen before. Katie, chin up. You know, we've had, recently, my girl, Laura Bonatti, I love you, Laura, she was in a show, you know, the, um, the Playboys Club, and it got canceled, it happens, Kristen Chenoweth had a show, I mean, we all know that, canceled, but now she's on GCB, I just came from LA, can I tell you that Kristen Chenoweth is on every bus stop, you cannot throw a stone without, without, Kristen, Kristen, my, look, how much are they paying for advertisement, I get it, the gays in your audience, criminy, anyway, well, it has been canceled. So I'm going to leave you with this. Now that Katie, you know, Katie has some free time, do you think she'll come back to Broadway? And if she does come back to Broadway, in what show? Now, add me to Twitter, at David Singletary, also at Broadway Spotted, or go to broadwayspotted.com and give us your answers. Because, as I said before, you find a little bit of truth, and you run with it. Now, I'm David Singletary, and... As always, if it's on Broadway, I have something to say. See you next week, kids.